Thank you for joining me today. I am going to be doing my unboxing of the How to Be a Redhead box, the H2 Bar box. And this is the last one that I have signed up for. So I will go over what's in the September box and I have gotten six boxes in total. So I will kind of do a quick recap, not of all the items, but some of the highlights and tell you my thoughts if I'm going to renew or not. And this box is $20.48. So I will start off by saying that all the brands in this month's box I have never heard of. So that is kind of cool to be able to try new brands. So as I go through, if you have heard of these brands or you've tried them, let me know. start off with, this is a nail polish. So I will be trying this out. This is Dr. Remedy's Noble Navy Nail Polish. This is $17. It is cruelty free and they do give you a card. It says that this is enriched with garlic bulb extract. I don't know anything about that. Tea tree oil, vitamin C, and E. So, and then on the bottle, it says tea tree oil, biotin, wheat, protein, and vitamins. So I didn't know nail polish could have all that stuff in it, but it still smells like nail polish. Okay, so there we go. Number two is this Belly. Belly, I think. I'm not sure how you say it. Skincare Exfoliating Body Polish, and this is $18, and they are also cruelty free. So this is nice because I always can use some body polish. It says Buff Brighten Luminate, Papaya Fruit, Orange Citrus, Avocado, Coconut, Shea Butter, Sweet Almond. And it says to use two to three times per week. Massage on damp skin and circular motions, and you rinse thoroughly. So I guess that's kind of like a scrub. Let's see, I'm going to use this pretty soon here, try it out. So go ahead and open it, Let's see what it smells like. Oh, that smells good. Yeah, I can definitely smell the orange citrus. That's probably the first thing that I noticed that in the papaya. So nice, definitely trying that out soon. Next we have is Tessa Liquid Copper. This, this is, is a $7 value. This says it's a natural and by choice redheads. Stop all hair fading. Sulfate free with foaming leather that creates a natural color boost. Now I could not find if this brand is cruelty free or not. So if you know, let me know. Otherwise I am going to reach out to them. It says how to use wash hair with product and shower rinse. So you use it whenever you need a boost. Do not use if you have blonde or bleach in your hair. Perform a strip test before using. So that is interesting. And the I'm assuming that How to Be a Redhead company does this. I've noticed that a lot of the products, they tape the cap. So that's nice. That way there's no leakage going on. Next is Vernon Francis Revamp. Revamp. This is mid-length repair cream. It says, have you noticed your hair is dull from the summer sun? Intensive emergency treatment for your red hair. Active ingredient derived from castor oil helps to seal down the hair's cuticles that have been damaged. Your beautiful red hair will feel like new. And this brand is cruelty free. So pretty interesting. It says for heat styled color or chemically treated hair. So even though my hair is not chemically treated or colored, but I do use heating products. So I can use that. Next we have, this is Levon, Levon Rose Jamaican Black Castor Oil. Here is the bottle of that. And this is a $22 value. It is cruelty free. It says the potent, powerful, natural healing oil your skin and hair needs. Too many sunburns this summer? You will love this. It promotes hair growth and treats dry and damaged skin. Hmm. It says it's also good for dry skin and chapped lips. So even during the winter months, that will probably be good. I have never tried any castor oil. So I'd love to know down below if you have. And if so, what do you use it for? Because I think if I remember right hearing that castor oil can be used for multiple things. I don't know if that's just plain castor oil or if it's Jamaican black or 
what the deal is with that. We have some Hum Nutrition, and these are a $5 value. This says, this is ensure skin stays moisturized and glowing throughout the day. So this is some gummies. So we have Hair Sweet Hair for Stronger, Healthier Hair. It's two berry veggie, <laughs> vegan, two berry vegan gummies in this packet. And then we have Glow Sweet Glow that says for hydrated skin hydration for the ultimate glow. And this says it's tangerine flavored. So I'll try those out. Then there's a mystery sample. So the value of the mystery sample is $2. And this is Juice Organics Healthy Beauty Repairing Shampoo and Conditioner. It says coconut and soy protein. So I would assume the coconut's going to smell pretty good. Have your card of what's in the box. And then you have, there's a bookmark and an advertisement about a kid's children's books that, oh, you can have it, your uh, book personalized. And then they are coming out with, or they came, this is the second time, I think. Yeah, the September slots are already sold out. It says the deluxe holiday slots are open for the deluxe box. That is what is in September's box. So I'm pretty happy with it. I think that these are items that I might not have bought myself, but I'm definitely up for trying. Now I'm going to grab some of the other products that I wanted to discuss as kind of my recap from the previous five boxes. This makes the six box in total that I received. This is a pro concealer palette that I received in one of the boxes and I did use it on today's look. I do like this. I feel like it is a good color corrector. Let's see if I have my little card here. Okay. So with this, the full size was $36. So I really felt like this was a good find to have in the box. And I'm happy I got this because I don't really buy color correctors, but I like to try them out. And I feel like I finally have kind of figured out that with color correctors, you just have to go light-handed is kind of the key to them. So I was happy with, that's one of the products that I was really happy with. Another one that I have tried and really like is, this is Not Your Mother's 10 in, 10 in 1 Hair Protector Spray. So this size value $4, the full size is 18. So I was very happy to try that so as tried well. out. This is the GYV Mango Lotion and it smells so good. I First, when I got this, I thought it was a little strange because I feel like this looks like something that you would get, you know, kind of like at a farmer's market or something. But it was a good way to try the sample and I really liked it. And I would look at that brand for more of their products. This is the Kula Makeup Setting Spray. I liked using that and I did get a full size one in my FabFitFun box. And it was kind of strange because I felt like the mini didn't really smell chemically. But then when I got the full size, then when I tried that, I felt like I could smell more of a chemical sunscreen smell than this one. So I don't know if anybody else has had that issue if you've tried a mini versus a full size, but I liked how the mini performed better than the full size. And then I just kind of pulled some things that I haven't tried yet because there has been so many products, but that I am going to try and I figured that Either in a few months, I'll do a recap on these items, or as I review them, I will definitely do it over on Instagram. My link to Instagram is down below. If there's something that you see that you would like a review on of these products that I pulled, or actually any of the past unboxings, I will put the playlist to the Redhead unboxing, the Redhead and Fafit Fun unboxing up above. If there's a specific product on any of my unboxing videos, always feel free to leave it in the comments that you'd really like to see a review on X so that I know. This is the Timeless Hydraulic Acid Pure. So I these products I have not tried yet, but I'm definitely looking forward to trying this. I know Mary Ellen, after 60, she has talked a lot about Timeless and I will leave her channel down below. And she loves the brand, so I definitely was happy to see that in here. This is the Alps Antioxidant Cream. 
And again, I just think that this looks so fancy. It may not be, but and the other thing that these are the next items that I'm going to try out. This is Grow Gorgeous Thickening Hair and Scalp Mask. My hair is pretty thick, so I don't need that, but I can always use a hair mask and I like the packaging. Yes, I'm a sucker for packaging. This is PCA Skin. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this was a moisturizer and this was really expensive. The size of this PCA Skin is $115. So I'm definitely trying that out, but I wanted to, I was trying out some other skincare items and I didn't want to like have it compete with this because I really want to see what this does. In the last box, I was very happy to see an eyeshadow palette and this is Coastal Scents, which I have never tried anything from that brand. So this is the Revealed Smoky palette and I thought that these are gorgeous colors for the fall. So I was thinking I would probably do an eyeshadow tutorial maybe with some of these colors and a brand overview of this palette. The only thing like overall I've noticed that a lot of the boxes they do seem to focus on hair care which makes sense because it's how to be a redhead box so that portion makes sense. I think that the things that I was kind of disappointed with is during the summer they did include a book which I get it, you know, because your redheads traditionally aren't out in the sun. You're like under the umbrella or you're inside reading a book, maybe instead of being out in the sun. But this is number three in the series. So I just felt like if they're going to include a book that's part of a series, it should have been number one. And I wasn't real thrilled to get a book in a beauty box that didn't really have anything. It's a red, she's a redhead on it, but it wasn't like it was a you know, beauty company put out this book or anything like that. So that I wasn't real thrilled with. And I did notice that in the summer, they had a lot of sunscreen in those boxes, which again, I get the thinking. Usually redheads burn easy. So of course we need sunscreen, but at the same time, a lot of the redheads I know don't go out in the sun all that much. So it seemed like every box during the summer, I had some kind of sunscreen and I'll never go through that much sunscreen. So I just felt like that maybe they could have not had as much sunscreen, but and maybe a little bit more makeup added to the boxes. But overall, I was happy that I tried it out. I'm not going to renew at this time. If I did renew, I would wait until next fall to try the boxes fall to winter and see what it is. I don't think that I would ever go the summer again because like I said of the sunscreen thing, but overall, I'm happy I tried it. I think that each box is worth the price. So I don't think, I don't feel like I got ripped off or anything like that. I hope that helps if you have never heard of this box and you were maybe thinking about it. I will leave their website down below. It is not affiliate or anything like that. But if you want to check it out for yourself, and again, if you want to watch the playlist and decide if maybe you want to give this box a try, I would love to know down below if you think that you are going to give it a try or if there's any boxes that you have been wanting to try out or that you have tried out and you just love because there are so many boxes out there. It's hard to know which ones to try out. I really appreciate you watching and I hope to see you back here later. Bye.